In this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up and use the auto switching feature in the Yolobox Pro. The first thing with the auto switch menu is to make sure you've got your show set up before you start sorting out the auto switching. So you don't want to be starting to create sources midway through the auto switch setup. You want to make sure you've got your show ready to go. First thing we need to do is add our video sources, which we can do by going to this menu here, and then we can select what sources we want to include inside of the auto switch itself. So I'm going to add one, two, and I'm also going to add in the local video, and I'm going to add in the side-by-side -side and the news layout. You can add the PDF into that as well. I'm just choosing not to in this instance. And then you've got the option to add in all of the timers so that these particular sources switch after being on screen for a certain amount of time. And I can go in here and I can change the duration that each of these sources appears on screen for. Let's just go in and change all of these through. Just going to put that as five and do that. Now you can have the sequence as it were go in order of your sequences that you've added. So one, two, three, four, five. You can have it do it randomly. So it will choose what it thinks is the best or the one which I really like to make sure I've got selected. And I'm just going to change the video sources and take out HDMI 1. I'm going to go down to main video source and change that to HDMI 1. So now no matter what I've got set up in terms of the sequence, it will always come back to HDMI 1 as the primary source all the way through. Now we've done that, we can go back up to the top. And we can hit start auto switch and it's going to start with HDMI 2. And now we're on to HDMI 1, which is our main source. And as you can see, it's going to be ticking down. Now, this one with the main video source is always at the bottom of the screen. But if you then come up, we can see that it's now moving through all of the other sources and coming back to me when it needs to which I think is really handy. So for somebody like me who does run a lot of smaller live productions, this is ideal because it means that I'm not constantly having to tap on the screen when I need to change to another source. So if I'm running a stream that's just by myself and I'm just doing something like this, this is really handy to have. It means I'm not going in and out. Now I can still change what slide presentation is if that comes up in terms of the side-by-side -side news layout but if at any point I do want to stop all of this I can hit the big disable button and now I have full control again in order to go through the sources as I see fit so that we have everything that we need all ready to go and if I just want to start this again I can hit the start auto switch. Now I can come out of that and if I want to include my video source one, it's going to put it right down to the bottom and there's no way I can move that. So when you set up your sources, set them up in the order you want them to appear and they will appear in that order. At the moment, there's no option to sort of click and drag and move them up. That feature's not there yet. I'm hoping that's coming along in a future update. I'd really like that, but right now, I'm going to start on HDMI 2, which is where we start most of the time. And then it's going to cut back and go straight to me as the main video source. So I can see this being really handy if I was doing a software demo just like this. I think this is really, really one of the best features of the Yolobox Pro. That now it's not a physical button you have to continually press the whole way through. You can just take your hand away from the stream just focus on what you want to talk about. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about auto switching, pop them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to you and I'll see you in the next one.